What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 current gen for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to build the best Trey Young build in NBA 2K21 current gen. This is a super super good all around point guard build. It has amazing playmaking, amazing shooting, amazing defense and also pretty good finishing. You'll be able to finish at the rim consistently with it. So it is a super super good all around build and I'm going to show you all how to build it right here. But before we get into that I just want to mention really quickly if y'all have not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you click that subscribe button only about 2% of people who watch my videos are actually sub to my channel so if you click that subscribe button right now you can join the 2% gang I really really appreciate it helps it a lot and also I stream on Twitch my Twitch link will be down in the description below make sure you go follow me over there if you enjoy watching live streams but with all that being said without any further ado let's get right into the video here All right, so first things first on this screen, the only thing that's important is you want your position to be a point guard, the hand, jersey number, name, none of that matters. You can set that up however you want, then just go ahead and click continue. Now for the skill breakdown right here, you wanna go down to the perfectly balanced green and yellow or green and orange, whatever you wanna call it. This one right here, you wanna make sure that you take this one and not the one that leans a little bit more towards green. You wanna take this one that's perfectly balanced between green and yellow, so you should have an 87-3, 87 ball handle. If you have those, then you know you're on the right pie chart, so go ahead and click yes. And the shooting and playmaking are going to go way up. So don't get too focused on where they are with the pie charts right now. They're going to go way up as we go through the next few slides. So now for the physicals profile, you obviously want to take pure speed, pure purple. This top one right here, this is the best for pretty much any guard build. And this build is no different. So just take that. Now for the attribute and badge distribution for this build. First off, for the finishing, you just want to go ahead and move your close shot up to an 81, which is one below max. The reason you can't put it quite up to max is because you're going to need that badge point or the attribute point rather so that you can get a badge somewhere else. You just need that one attribute, so put it up to an 81 right there. Then you want to max out your driving layup, and that's it for finishing. You don't want to upgrade your dunk because it can only get up to a 64 anyways, so you're not going to be able to dunk. And these other two attributes don't matter, so just upgrade it just like this. One finishing badge, but this really is more of a shooting slash playmaking ISO type of build, so you really should not need more than one finishing badge for this build. Then for the shooting right here, you want to max out mid-range, three-pointer, free throw and then you want to put your post fade up right here to a 69 and this will give you 24 shooting badges and you can get hall of fame shooting badges on this build so that's going to be more than enough i will show you how to put on the badges at the end of the video so make sure you stick around until then but 24 that's the perfect amount you really won't need more than that that's a ton of shooting badges then you can go down to the playmaking right here for playmaking first off you want to max out your pass accuracy then same thing with your ball handle you want to max that out as well and then you want to move your post moves up to a 53 right here and that'll give you 20 23 playmaking badges you can see if you bring this down even one you're going to lose that playmaking badge you don't want that you want to make sure you have 23 playmaking badges again perfect amount right there then you can go down to the defense for defense you want to max so perimeter lateral steal defensive rebound block and then put your remaining four attributes right here into offensive rebound to get you up to those eight defense badges which again just like with all the other categories will be the perfect amount to be able to get everything that you're going to need and this is actually a really good defensive build considering it has no defense in the pie chart really is one of the best defensive guards that you can make with no defense in the pie chart so that's good right here you're gonna have amazing defense to go along with your super amazing playmaking shooting and finishing so once you have all of your attributes and badges looking like this you can go ahead and click continue now for the body shape, this really doesn't matter too much. It doesn't affect the attributes. It doesn't affect the badges or anything like that. All it does is change how the build looks. So for me, I'll probably take, I mean, defined or compact is probably the most similar to Trey Young. I'll take compact and but it doesn't really matter though then for the height right here i'm going to leave this at six foot three i think trey young is actually a little bit shorter but you don't you don't want to make your build shorter trust me you don't want to be like six foot or six foot one it's just it's going to be bad your build is going to suck you could be more like trey young but your build is going to suck you want to be a six foot three you could also put this build up to six foot five but then it's really not like the trey young build you gain a little bit of stuff you do lose some speed so six foot five is okay but i think six foot three is the best height to make this build so that's where i'm going to do it then for the weight right here you want to go down to 173 pounds right here you can see this puts your speed all the way up to a 90 acceleration up to an 89 and once you get into the gatorade facility once you get above 95 overall those are going to be going even higher they're going to be all the way up to close to max so you're going to be really really fast really agile on this build so that's really good 173 pounds perfect spot right here if you drop it any lower you don't gain anything you lose the strength and stuff so you don't want that and if you bring it any higher you lose an acceleration you lose the speed so you don't want that either 173 pounds perfect spot boom 
Then for the wingspan right here, you could really technically put it wherever you want, but I definitely recommend putting it all the way down to minimum. You don't really need wingspan on a build like this. It brings some of your defense down a little bit, but your perimeter is only down one. Your steel is down three, but it's still 77, so you'll still be able to get steals. And this does bring your ball handle up one, which is nice, but where it really, really, really helps you out is with the plus four on mid-range, plus four on three-pointer that's just insane you're going to be an amazing shooter with this build so i recommend putting it to minimum wingspan but you could put it up a little bit if you want a little bit of extra wingspan but minimum is really the best so that's why i'm going to go ahead and confirm it and now for the takeover right here this is really up to you honestly it doesn't really matter like i can't tell you what takeover is the best it really just depends on your play style and how you're going to be playing i don't really recommend the slasher takeover just because this really is not a slasher build you could take the playmaker if you want to be taking ankles with this build diming your teammates with this build that's definitely the one you're going to want if you want to be shooting super deep threes with this build spot up shooter that's going to be for the one for you and if you want a ticino type of play style where you're taking a lot of fadeaways and stuff shot creator definitely the one for you so really any of these three you could take i'll probably take i'll take playmaker because i like breaking ankles and as you can see right here boom playmaking shot creator shades of stephen curry kyrie irving and steve nash but i definitely compare this build to trey young i think it's very similar to him and maybe just the height is the reason why it's not compared to him. I don't know, but these comparisons on the side really don't mean anything anyways. So now I'm going to take a quick second, like I said, and show you how to put on the badges for this build or how I would recommend putting on the badges at least. But first right here, we're going to go over the final attributes right here. You can pause the video, take a screenshot of this if you want to see it. But these are all the final attributes for the build. Boom. First off for the finishing badge right here, I don't recommend contact finisher since you don't have contact dunks or anything on this build anyways. It doesn't really matter where you put it. You can put it on consistent. You can put it on slithery. You could put it on really anything relentless even even or something like that but i'm gonna put it on slithery onto bronze boom now for the shooting badges right here i recommend getting catch and shoot all the way up to gold since you do have so many badges even if you're an on ball player like you're dribbling a lot of the time not catching and shooting you could still put this badge on because you know sometimes your center will grab a rebound for you kick it back out to boom green so this badge will help out even if you're more of an on ball player then i recommend getting corner specialist up to silver dead eye also all the way up to gold hot zone hunter onto hall of fame as long as you have hot zones if you don't have hot zones you don't need this badge then range extender all the way up to hall of fame as well volume shooter onto silver flexible release onto gold and i never recommend getting green machine you can get it if you want but i think it's such an overrated badge i've gone over it a few times in a few different videos i actually made a whole video on it i'll put it up in the corner now if you want to watch why green machine is so overrated but it's just not a badge that you're going to want instead i'm going to go ahead and get tireless shooter onto gold just like that and this is how i'm going to set up the shooting badges for this build amazing shooting build amazing amazing also i'll mention really quickly if you took the shot creator takeover you might want difficult shots but other than that this is going to be the best shooting badge setup for this build now on to playmaking right here first off i'm going to go ahead and get the most important badges which is handles for days quick first step and unpluckable just like that and now with these last 11 badges right here you have some personal preference i recommend getting dimer so you can help out your teammates as much as possible dimer is a super super good badge same thing with floor general i recommend getting this if you have somebody else on your team who has it though you don't need it but floor general is really good and then i'm gonna get ankle breaker space creator and tight handles all on bronze so that you can unlock every good dribbling animation you really should not need them more than bronze the only one is maybe if you took the shot creator takeover you might want space creator higher than bronze but other than that having all of these on bronze is good enough and you have one badge left i'm just going to go ahead and put it onto needle thread or you can really put that last one wherever you want maybe lob city or lob city passer if you're throwing a lot of lobs or bailout if you bail out a lot but needle threader super safe badge right there always helps out go ahead and say yes now for the defense badges right here first off you're going to want to go ahead and get clamps all the way up to gold obviously super super good badge for any guard build really good you really can't go without it and then i recommend getting intimidator also i know a lot of people don't like intimidator for guards i think it's still really really good especially if you're not a defensive guard or not a lockdown guard i mean i think intimidator is a super important badge for getting contests and then i'm also going to get oh not that pickpocket no not that either pick dodger onto silver just like that and this is going to be the final defense badge setup for this obviously you want pick dodger so that you're not getting caught up on screens and your big man has to come up and help and then you just get burned on the cut or something like that you're going to need pick dodger silver is good and it will help out no matter what people tell you it will help out a little bit and i definitely recommend getting it for this build to go along with these other two badges so there are the defense badges and there you guys go that is how you build the best trey young build in nba 2k21 current gen hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like subscribe to my channel if you're new like i said only two percent of people who watch my videos are actually subbed to my channel so if you click that subscribe button right now you can join the two percent gang i really really appreciate it helps it a lot and also i stream on twitch my twitch link will be down in the description below make sure you go follow me over there if you enjoy watching live streams but anyway that's gonna be it all right peace